Early in the war, the Zero A6M fighters were an area nightmare for the Allies in the Asia Pacific. Full name is Mitsubishi A6M Zero or the Mitsubishi A6M Raisin. This was an aircraft made specifically by Mitsubishi for the Imperial Japanese Navy with a short wingspan, compact size, and short takeoff capability for optimal use on aircraft carriers. The Zero is considered to have been the most capable carrier based fighter in the world when it was introduced early in World War II combining excellent maneuverability and very long range. The Mitsubishi A6M0 carrier based fighter, a design that defied expectation by outperforming land based fighters when it was introduced into service in 1940. Designer Zero Hori Koshi maximized the Zero's performance by reducing airframe weight to an unprecedented degree by cutting armor protection and employing an extra super dura aluminum alloy. Combined with an 840 horsepower Shake 12 radial engine, the A6M2 Tap Zero could attain speeds of 346 miles per hour while exhibiting extraordinary maneuverability and high risk self clap. The elegant airframe weighed only 1.85 tons MT, giving the Zero a tremendous range of 1,600 miles, very useful for scouting for enemy ships and launching long distance race. By comparison, Germany's excellent contemporary BF-109 fighter could fly only 500 miles, faithfully reducing its effectiveness in the Battle of Britain. For armament, the Zero boasted two punchy Tap 99 20mm cannons in the wing, though only with 60 rounds of ammunition and two rifle caliber machine guns firing through the propeller. The Zero was pressed into service in July 1940. First seen combat against China prior to America officially entering the Second World War. During their initial time in China, the Zeros had shot down some 99 Chinese aircraft although some sources claim that number to be much higher, around the 266 level. The Zero was then used in the attack on Pearl Harbor, with some 521 of the tap being in service at the time of the attack. It soon built up its fearsome reputation, and even the run efforts and their speed fires found the Zero a tough opponent. What made the Zero so deadly was the aircraft's agility in combat. Earlier Allied fighters such as the Wildcat, Kitty Hawk, and Brewster Buffalo simply could not match the agility of the Japanese aircraft. It was considered pretty much a death sentence if you were to get into a dogfight with the Japanese aircraft with some of the pilots of the aircraft being incredibly skilled following the Chinese conflict. However, the Allied aircraft did have more than one advantage over the Zero. That was their sturdiness and heavy armament. This could soon be Zero's downfall. The Allied pilots soon developed tactics to beat the Zero. Royal Air Force pilots would scoop down on the Zero, fire a burst, and then scoop back up. A quick burst would incredibly be enough to shoot a Zero down, as the Allies soon discovered the tap to be very badly armored and its fuel tanks 
susceptible to blowing up. The P-40 wasn't as agile as the Zero, but it was better armed and stronger, and soon more advanced machines such as the F-4U Corsair and F-6F Hellcat were in service. By then, a lot of the better Japanese pilots were lost in combat, and the inexperienced replacements couldn't match the ability of the Allied pilots. The Zero was less effective against newer Allied fighters due to design limitations. It lacked hydraulic boosting for its ailerons and rudder, rendering it extremely difficult to maneuver at high speeds. By 1944, with Allied fighters approaching the A6M levels of maneuverability and consistently exceeding its firepower, armor, and speed, the A6M had largely become outdated as a fighter aircraft. However, as design delays and production difficulties hampered the introduction of newer Japanese aircraft models, the Zero continued to serve in a frontline role until the end of the war in the Pacific. During the final phases, it was also adapted for use in Kamisake operations. Japan produced more Zeros than any other model of combat aircraft during the war. The Zero remains one of the most iconic fighter aircraft of the whole war.